Johnny Sunshine here. So I'm over at Home Depot. Uh, looking at prices and what they have. One of these days I'm going to buy a, a Home Depot water heater. And I'm going to buy one from my supplier. And just do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm going to tear them apart and compare and see exactly what... The difference is between these these heaters. I'm going to check the elements, the, th the thermostats, uh, all the parts. Um, I think you know from just looking at them. I think the only difference is the plastic drain valve. I gotta get rid of this fucking music, man. Yeah, so. I'm trying not to get a copyright infringement. I, my, I'm using my phone here, uh, but yeah, I want to check. I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison because if I buy three of these water heaters at $412 a piece, uh, $413 uh, for a 40-gallon, that's a pretty good deal, man. And if the only difference is that there's a plastic ball uh, drain valve versus a brass then hell I could change that out for a pretty cheap price it may be a better deal if they're exactly the same the only other problem is that uh, when it comes to warranty do I want to put myself through the bullshit of uh, having to deal with Home Depot when it comes to warranty uh, so I don't know guys, you gotta keep your eyes open in these stores because every once in a while things are really cheap uh, and you gotta grab them when that happens. Batteries for Milwaukee, I don't buy them. I'll never just buy one uh, without it being on sale or getting a real good deal uh, on batteries and a free tool or something. Um, but you gotta watch the batteries because the batteries are all, they may look the same but they're all different. So, this is the water heater section. <clears throat> this is what they are uh, accepting now down here in, uh, in Florida. You could put this on, and I've been telling you guys this shit for ever since I started my web ch channel, that the relief valve, if you put a relief valve on the system at 125 PSI, that that's up to code. So this is, uh, this shock bite valve right here is 50 bucks, but it's got the thermal, ex it's got a thermal expansion uh, outlet, that half inch on the bottom and I don't know if that's adjustable or not but it shouldn't be uh, the 125 and what it'll do is it'll drip like a water heater relief valve when it gets over the limit so this is up acceptable I know my nephew he said that his company this is what they install now maybe not shark bite but the, a similar setup uh, and that's acceptable by code the houses are passing inspection so something to think about and you know a tank itself is forty one dollars here and they don't last uh, so and they're gonna cause a big problem when they blow uh, I love coming through here and uh, looking at this now this is a, a watt uh, system which is basically the same as a if you opened up a Grundfos system it's gonna be exactly the same uh, same uh, thermostatic control valve, all of that. But this is cheaper than I can buy it at a supply house, the Grundfos. Comes with a 24-hour uh, time clock on it. And uh, they really do work. And you can actually buy an additional thermostatic control valve, which is this guy, a sensor valve. You can buy additional ones and put them, uh, use a couple of them in the house. So I've, I've installed lots of these. They do work. Eventually that, that thermostatic control valve will crust up. Uh, and 
So these gaskets right here are for water heater supply lines. Uh, these guys here. And they are different than a regular hose washer. They're designed for heat. And uh, I'm going to grab a couple packs of these because if I go out and there's a leak on something, uh, I'm not going to change everything out if all I need is a washer. So I'm going to buy six of these and I'll leave them in this pack so I know what they are. Uh, boop, boop, the one thing that I do like, guys, are these uh, supply lines on a gas water heater, you know? I like the one, I like these stainless tubes. Uh, you can buy them with a valve attached to it and a shock bite on one side. And uh, it's a great kit. And I use them on gas water heaters, man. You can make them look nice and... Uh, And you don't have to go through all the bullshit of using copper and getting all your stuff out. It's quick, it's easy, they're reliable, and they work, man. Uh, I've got one of one of these kits on my truck uh, for the door on a... I also have a kit with everything. Two thermostats, uh, two elements, a complete kit to rebuild a water heater. $22 for a relief valve, the long neck. Uh, this is a gas supply kit. I can't see, I don't see that kit with the, with the shark bite uh, valve on it. Um, not a big deal in fact if I don't have one uh, I just go to copper shock bite water uh, water softener connectors Wow so I really enjoy coming through here man uh, doing these little walk through this vacuum is what I bought last week for my house uh, it's a six amp I mean a uh, six horsepower uh, motor on it it really does a good job and it gets my dogs out of the fucking house man I just have to turn it on and they fucking haul ass wow a bunch of filters uh, it's just a uh, great to just walk through here and see what's on the shelf man know what's out there we don't have that opportunity at supply houses uh, for the most part so all right let me go find another I'm gonna make a tool today for Delta uh, taking off that nut on the Delta faucets and um, I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to get a bucket, throw all my stuff in. Toilet fill valve. A quieter and faster fill valve. Hmm. Look at all the different colors, man. It's crazy. I'm a fluid master guy, and that's what I buy. Uh, HEPA air purifier, that's what I need in my house, man. This fucking dog, kill me. The brass shank, guys, it ain't worth it, man. I was having issues with these because the threads on these these shanks don't go all the way up. And I had a couple of times where um, 
that's I had gone to these and thought, oh, I'm going to be doing a, a lot better job, you know, but I'm back to the plastic because the threads on that shank does not, they don't go all the way up, and I had issues with them. Uh, so. All right. Dual flush conversion kit. I probably could have put that in that toilet I had the other day, the two toilets, but those things are just junk, man. She's got a lot, they've got a lot better deal. Uh, all of this stuff, man, it's just easier to buy here, like this one. I think you get two of them at, at a supply house for that. Save money. So you gotta be careful. You gotta watch and, and look and learn. You may get beat one time, but don't get beat again. You know what I'm saying, y'all? They've got all these crazy toilet uh, trip levers. I stock these. These are for the cold well worth. These are for the uh, for the uh, tower cola cola tower toilets. Uh, this is just a well worth toilet uh, trip lever. It goes on the side of the tank. This one is in the front of the tank. Uh, good to have some of them. I'm going to get one of these. Well, first I'm going to check my supplier and see if I can get it cheaper. Uh, ah, this is a good piece. If you break that, you know, which is very easy to break this. Good to have one of these on the truck, man. I could have used that the other day instead of the whole tower assembly. You know, I, I mean, I put a new, this in with the, with the outer uh, shell. So I'm gonna get one of these. Got a couple of uh, gaskets. Um, It's got urinal parts. Uh, they've got these toilet shims here. Uh, but unfortunately, they're those rubber deals. And the rubber ones, they suck. They give. You need something that's hard, man. That doesn't give any, any play. I don't like the rubber ones. Some guys do. That's your bag. So let's see what this is. So I see a lot of guys, especially the guy from uh, Replum. He always using his basin wrench to turn a water meter off. Man, get yourself one of these. It's fucking ten dollars, man, at Home Depot. It's a meter key. Everybody should have one. And if you're a plumber, you better have one of these, too. A pro broad. This one's a little long, though. Jesus Christ, man. 60 inch. Soil probe. You'll never be able to push that thing in 60 inches, so that's a waste. Uh, when I need to go down deep, I just make a water probe. Um, so let's see. I just took somebody's uh, cart. But I'll give it back happily as they... Let's see what these are. Alright guys, so this is an interesting uh, little deal here. Uh, it's got a rubber connector. This goes up on the toilet, obviously. Uh, this would be mounted right on the floor. It extends it up high enough that you'd make a good seal here. But then underneath... Um, I'm not sure if you have any seal whatsoever if you just put this over a broken flange so uh, if you put wax under it maybe it'd be a good idea um, but I'm not sold on that I want to look at this other other style they have wax ring cover Excuse me. 
Yeah, I don't like that either. Danco. They make a lot of good shit, guys. Yeah, this is a rubber seal. I don't like these, man. Yeah, I'm not sold on anything they have here in, in that regard. Repairing closet flanges. This guy is over here trying to figure out how to repair his toilet flange. Oh. Glacier Bay. There's a lot of that stuff out there, guys. It may just come with the faucet itself. Oh, yeah, so it's it's an old place, so, so it's just right above the spout. It comes out, pushing, pulling, and then the shower starts. Yeah, that most likely comes with the spigot itself. It's got hose washers with screens, a uh, regular garden hose. Probably got washers yeah, that you can replace uh, using uh, on a shut off valve. I'm gonna get that. So guys, this is this is why I don't buy. You see how much these closet bolts are? Um, they're just too expensive, man. Just too expensive. It's for a man's field. All this better than wax crap is down at the bottom. I don't see anything on for repairing flanges, so uh, let's head on down the road, guys. Ma'am, what are you trying to do? I'm a plumber. Maybe I can help you. Can you come with me? No. <laughs> sure, are you okay. married? I'm, I mean, I'm single and ready to mingle. <laughs> this is what I do on Sundays. I come and hang out in the plumbing <laughs> aisle oh, for you that. damsels in distress. <laughs> it works well for me. Most people go to Publix. Oh, Publix, okay. I'll try that. Yeah, what aisle do you know? <laughs> I'm kidding. What's going on, ma'am? So, the tub, above the tub, Correct. it has this piece that you push or pull and then the shower. Right, it's a diverter. A diverter. Correct. Right. It's a button that comes out of right underneath the handle. Right. Yeah, that's a mowing diverter you need. So. This is not it. That's for the tub spout itself. Oh, wait, but maybe that's. Is it on the tub spout? Do you lift it up or do you pull it out? Pull it this yeah, way. Yeah, that's a mowing diverter. Let me see if I can find it for you. Uh, let's see. Mowing diverter. They may not have it here. It's something you may, but you're not going to be able to do that yourself, ma'am. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do it. 
What about Lowe's? Lowe's may have it, yeah. It is a mow and push pull diverter, yes. And uh, I don't see it here. I mean, I have one on my truck uh, outside. But like I said, it's not something you're going to be able to do. Who are you going to have do it? Broward what? Uh, okay, you have a warranty deal with yes. them or something? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. That should work for a shower with no problem. But you need a a mowing diverter. Uh, they don't have them here, man. The push-pull mowing diverter. Why don't you try to look it up on your phone? You probably get it. So guys, I don't know how they get away with selling this shit, you know, it's illegal, a fucking ass trap, so look at some of this goofy shit you can run into out in the field, man, it's just craziness, you know, look at this one, I've run into a couple of these, oh yeah, beautiful, it's a thing of beauty for $30. And then they end up having to call the plumber anyway. You know, as much as I hate these accordion deals, guys, sometimes, man, it just isn't worth for a quarter of an inch uh, going crazy, trying, you know, having to replace, put a couple 45s or street 45s or whatever. Um, you know, it's kind of Rube Goldberg, but fuck it, man. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Insta trap. I like that. You just push the shit on and it's got an O ring. Shark bite. Shark bite Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. It's got a goddamn shark bite on it. Sure enough. Sure enough, Jackson. Just push it on and you done. So I just love to come through here, man, uh, try to pick up old ladies that with a lot of money. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I just love seeing what's in here, you know. Everybody, you always need a couple of split discussions on your truck. Uh, it's like being at the candy store for me, to be honest with you guys. I know I'm sick. I'm a sick man. Look at these push button uh, wastes. Fifteen dollars, that's cheap, man. And that's with the overflow, you see the holes in the side of it? That's cheap. Brushed nickel. $28 for a uh, premium metal, which I don't need all of that, man. Plastic's just as good. Things are expensive. Fucking Joe Biden. Fucking Joe. Guys, let me just tell you, man. Anybody using a, a basket strainer like this, With that nut on the bottom, you're a rank amateur, my friends. You cannot use these, they suck. They suck and they will eventually leak and loosen up. The gasket squeezes out. Uh, just not good, man. Not good at all. <sighs> Unfortunately, this shelves are full of them. Stuff like this, guys, if it's in good shape, save it and give it to somebody, you know, if they need one. Five dollars for a handful of putty. Yeah, buy a five-gallon bucket. I mean, uh, five pounds. 
metal traps. I I will. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I come by every every once in a while. I have to come by and look at all the nice stuff they have. It was my pleasure to try to help you, ma'am. But I'm telling you, uh, to did you try to pull that up and save it, maybe, so you know what part you need? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to the villa and take a picture. Okay. Good. Yeah. So I like these tail pieces. You know, I buy the double for one thing. Buy less than that. I realized the other day that I have a bunch of these uh, in my shop in the back of my house. Um, I never use in end outlet waste. The only interaction I have with them is to take them out for the most part. Um, this is the tail piece that I use. Uh, no, the the dishwasher tail piece that I buy actually screws right up to the bottom of the uh, the basket strainer. Uh, you don't have an, you don't have to use a tail piece and then this. It's a one piece deal. Disposal elbow. That's a stupid vent. <sighs> so I think this is a good deal, man. matte black twenty dollars for the matte black this is brushed nickel only fifteen dollars i think that's a good price man uh if they, i wish they had it in chrome um so i i think they do have it in chrome for a little less with the overflow. I think I'll buy, well, I'm not going to buy them. I don't want to spend, I need two of them if I'm going to buy them and I just, uh, I don't want to do that. These are grid strainers. You got to use them in commercial kitchens. Just what I just told you. The gasket and the nut. Those fucking strainers are garbage. Throw them out if you have them on your truck. Uh, anyways, let's move on down the line, guys. Uh, submersible pumps. I think this would be a good pump for uh, flushing water heaters. Um, tankless finds leaks fast this thing is great uh, put it in a pan and um, it will uh, sound an alarm when when it detects moisture What's this guy all about inline check valve you need them for the uh, pump and macerating pump and tank uh, these things are worthless, guys. I've taken so many drains apart where these were down, stuck in them. Uh, 24 inch grab ass. I've never really used these. This just looks like a toy. I would never walk into somebody's house with that and that charge them a professional plumbing rate with a straight face. With a fucking plunger that looks like that. Steve Lav. I'm just saying. 
a shake pump. You shake it and it pumps, man. You got a bitch. Condensate discharge. That's cool to have. I was always told condensate cannot go into a plumbing system. It needs to drain out under the ground. Look at the size of this fucking plunger. Holy guacamole. That's for a floor drain, Jackson. That's a big doggy. That's a big dog. So flex cable. See how much this is. This is, see these boxes that are open? You wanna buy this shit when it's on sale. 25 feet, 5 sixteenths by 25 feet uh, that's that this stuff will work in a Super V for sure what I like about the Super V cables are it's actually got a cable inside of it where this is just there's no cable in here it's just a regular spiral uh, spring uh, the, the Super V cables are better than this because when they break you don't lose the piece uh, because there's a cable inside all of this shit is useless right here uh, little drain cleaner see $64 that's that's pretty expensive so I buy that let's see 25 foot power spin drain. Yeah, that's not a good deal. I think I'm gonna buy some of these just to have them on the truck. Oh, I have a ton of them I'm talking about. This is a nice little set. I have one of them, I have one of them. Got one of them, got one of them, I got one of them. I got one of these, one of them, one of them, one of them. I have all this shit, guys. Oh, let's see if they have that wrench for garbage disposals probably be in the garbage disposal section I'm just a channel lock guy blue handles guys blue handles do 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 this is what I bought I like these cuts half and three quarter. I can use it uh, instead of my 15s all the time. It's just convenient and uh, I like this long skinny wrench Milwaukee makes. I think they're pretty cool. I just probably don't don't need one, but I think it's a great idea. I have a lot of these. I'll be honest with you, nobody fucking deburs anything. I mean, I deburr PVC, but the copper, especially at a shutoff valve under a sink, don't waste your time, guys. Scooby doo doo doo. Yeah, the, the braided no burst hoses are very expensive here, man. For sure. For sure. I wish they sold a little kit. 
I wish Brasscraft had a kit for, I see Steve Lav, uh, he's always replacing those little washers, uh, which is great, but you still have the problem of a packing nut that is spent, you know? You, there's no packing left, so you end up with a drip. Uh, so I wish it'd be nice if they sold a complete rebuild kit for these Brasscraft valves. Um... Brass crafts listening. Let's do that, guys. Wash machine hose. Straight and angle fit. Oh, lost my balance, man. Bitch, get fucking old. Hey, 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 no swearing on this aisle, guys. <laughs> not on the, not Plumbers the don't swear. No, we don't. <laughs> All right? Clean it up. This is the family yeah. aisle. But, sir, clean it, clean it up, sir. We, we bring the definition to potty mouth. There you go. Or you can go cheap. Ah. That's no, a two demerits that. already. You guys have gone after three. <laughs> the F-bombs are dropping. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we have strict code here. All right. Me if I said I was a sailor? Hey, I'm a sailor too, man. No, I USS sailor. I'm Nitro. I'm and I swear like crazy. Check out my web channel. You'll see. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice if they had a kit, man. Uh, to rebuild these. I like these valves. Add a, you know, add a branch. I have these little fittings. They're great. Uh, it just screws right on the top of a valve. The only downside is you don't have a shutoff valve to uh, whatever, whatever it is. Dual stop, 23 bucks. Brass crap. Careful, don't buy the cheap ones. All right. Let's see if they have a mini hacksaw here. No. All right, we're gonna move on. All right, guys. So I'm gonna make my own tool for removing. Um, that bonnet nut on delta valves which I'll show you how I do that it's pretty simple and easy and it does work man you know I'm sure you know there are guys out there who just never have a problem with them but I do and so I made this tool this is an 8 inch half inch, half inch by 8 uh, nipple half inch by 8 inch galvanized nipple which I'm going to use to uh, make this tool. I just need to find uh, straps for some electrical conduit. So guys, one of the things that I like to do is uh, have have some of these short pieces. They're, they're pretty expensive, but it looks nice when you work under somebody's sink. Uh, this, you know, like this right here, if I were to replace that that uh, riser on that toilet I was working on, I would use one of these. Uh, it's nice and clean. It hasn't been rolling around in a truck, getting stomped on. Uh, let's see here. A buck a piece for the Teflon. I'm going to get a few of these. I just use white regular old Teflon.
So I've decided after replacing those valves the other day, guys, that I'm gonna uh, change change the valves that I use on hose bibs. I'm gonna do. I do not like the quarter turn valves anymore. I'm gonna use one of these. I just like this. I like the fact that the spray pattern goes down. You can control the volume uh, without getting soaking wet and you can rebuild this very, very easily. Buy them and I ordered uh, 20 of them online the other day. This, these are almost $8. I got them for four bucks online. So, uh, and that's what I'm gonna do for the most part. I mean, I'll still stock boiler drain like that but yeah this is a mower good name nine bucks three quarter see these access panels they're pretty expensive these are great little gauges twelve bucks I got about 10 of them. Don't don't buy these. Anything like that. You gotta put a good valve in. It's a nice valve for a washing machine. I use quarter turn valves. They do sell some good ones here for, for a washing machine uh, situation. Three dollars for a handle, but good luck if it's the, the right one. Drain caps. I don't. I don't use any any valves with drains. Can you help a customer on the next aisle? A guy in a black shirt. A gentleman in a black shirt next aisle. These guys should be outlawed. Great valves. So what I'm looking at here is, uh, what I need is a no-hub band, uh, inch and a half, which I have on my truck, but I'm just gonna buy one. Oh, I'm, no I'm not. That's a mission coupling. Same size, but it's ten bucks. I'm not buying that. I got them on my truck. I know I paid less than that. Seven dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this because I need this for the tool that I'm making. And you'll see what that's all about. Let's go over here and look at some closet flanges and uh, then we'll get out of this aisle. Hey, you want to sell me this whole yeah. cart? Sure thing. I'll give you 50 bucks cash right now. Bring it out to my truck and just throw it in. Deal. All right. All right. All right you take we... cash check or? Are you being serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious, man. <laughs> no. We can't do that. Why not? Stuff, some of the stuff is probably worth This is America, man. Months. This is a free country, buddy. That's what I'm saying, man. Why can't we just walk into the Home Depot and take whatever we want, man? I have no idea, brother. In a perfect world, that's what we'd be able to do. Exactly. I think you could just walk into like, any auto zone or something. Look at how thick that is. And that's good. Buy, take any flat screen you want and walk right out, man. That's right, man. That's the America I want. Exactly. I could use a couple new Xboxes, man. That'd be nice. Really? Yeah. <laughs>
All right, you're starting to scare me now, man. I was just kidding, man. Shit. Yes, sir, Captain. Aye, aye. This is a nice flange. It's very thick, man. Even a retard could put it in and wouldn't break it. Uh, I don't think I could. I wasn't talking about you oh. there, Goofy. <laughs> See, I make everybody laugh, man. I make everybody laugh. Private Snowball, reporting for duty, sir. There you go. <laughs> these are good. I need to get one of these on. It's a small, small hole, but it's bigger than the, the discharge of the toilet, and it's got a long uh, thing. See, these are a little longer uh, extended toilet flange. You could cut an old flange out and put this in uh, even with the tile on the bottom and you'd be fine with that. Uh, watch out, Ricky Retardo's back on the scene. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, man, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I have Tourette's, man. I oh, just man. fucking start spitting shit out. I really apologize, man. You're okay, sir. I'm fine. Okay. All walks of life. Yeah. You got no problems. <laughs> fucking Ricky Retardo creeped up on me, guys. Scared the fucking shit out of me. 6.30 each. Give me a break, man. Oh, yeah, let me go get something for you. Let me go get some one for you because it's not me. <laughs> 5.56. I'll take one of them babies. <laughs> told the guy the wires full of teeth mess, messed up. Like I said, some horrible freak accident happened and the wire got caught in the motor. I don't know, some, some guy was trying to pull the wire out of there. <laughs> Watch out, be careful. Yeah. My mm. boss is so generous, gave me a 10 cent raise. Really? Yeah. That, that'll that get you nothing these yeah, days. Like, this goes on the outside of a piece of four inch. inch. That won't get you a half a chew, man. Won't even get me bubbles out. Do you chew, man? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah, I do. That's Dude, what are you? Man. Come on, now. You don't like your your mouth? You're going to end up with cinnamon? This is the Weenie Hut Juniors of snuff. Yeah, I was going to say, man. <laughs> don't, let, don't let the other cowboys know you're chewing that shit, yeah. son. They'll kick my ass. They'll beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> They'll pull me into the road. They'll fucking drag you behind their truck for fucking 20 miles. <laughs> They'll make you drink that spit, boy. Oh, God. You want to sell me that for 20 bucks? <laughs> He can take it to his truck and he'll have us 20 bucks. What the fuck, man? It sounds like a good Make deal. it happen. Make it fall off that hand truck. You ever I hear make, that? I make something. From, I'm from a place where shit falls off the truck all the time. Oh, I'm going to go this way. Johnny's on a fucking roll today. Uh, where's the fence shit? Are you running a comedy special? No, I got my own YouTube channel, man. Oh, that's awesome. John Phillips Plumbing. That's you go, awesome. You're going to be on it, so that's you must it. say hello. Hey. This is Ricky Retardo. He works <laughs> at fucking Home Depot. They yeah, get me. a big tax write-off for hiring this guy. And, uh, yeah, he chews... I don't know. It's chewing a pink container. I don't know what that's all about. I got this at a. Uh, I told him, don't let the other cowboys know you're eating that shit. I got this yeah. from Super Weenie Hut Juniors. There you go. Warning: your lips are gonna fall off. <laughs> Fucking read the directions, pal. Johnny making friends everywhere he goes, guys. 
let's see what we got here. Look for the fucking sale tags. New, lower price. It jumps out at you, man. Ugh, my eyes are killing me, man. Doesn't look like much is on sale here today. Let me go over here and get a, uh... Where's the fence? Shit, man. Oh, here's what I need. They don't sell it. They don't sell the tool, man. Nobody sells that goddamn tool. Why would they sell it? Because their tool is that. Why would they sell that other tool? Hard at work. Hard at work. Fucking doing the old eyelid fucking check. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get escorted out of this fucking place, but they're never going to get my phone from me. What's the deal with this? I need a 20 by 20 by 1, man. Filter 20 by 20 by 4. Holy fucking A, man. Three pack. I'm gonna do what Steve Lab says. Twenty by twenty by one. Alright guys, so I'm giving away all my secrets here. Uh, this is how I make a tool for taking off uh, that nut on a uh, Delta shower valve. That, that brass nut that if you use channel locks you, you fucked yourself. So this thing applies, I use an inch and a half fern co, I'll cut it in half and then I'll flip it over and I'll cut so I only have one side and it's going to be just as thick got a nice little collar to keep it centered and I'll get a bolt that will go in here and then this will be the handle that eight inch uh, that eight inch nipple and that's the tool man and uh, you'll see when I put it together it, it really does work and it's cheap I mean all this shit together probably less than 20 bucks so uh, that's gonna be that let me just take a quick walk through here. I want to go look at some other things, maybe some tools. Uh, but we're getting to the end of this video. Um, I'm in home and garden right now. Uh, I think I did buy a two inch strap, uh, regular galvanized two hole strap. And uh, if that, that, that strap, the last time I made this tool, I did use a, uh, I thought it was a two and a half inch two hole strap. But uh, we'll see. They don't have it anymore. What's going on, man? Still screening? Yeah. Yeah. How'd I know? I've been looking at you for the last 30 years, man, over at Snaffy's. I'm the plumber, John Phillips, plumbing. You Over came up Snaffy's. Snaffy's gas station. Right. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I'm my company. I used to go there every morning, the plumbing oh, company. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because not too many people know about the name Snaffy's. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, That's way back, man. Yeah, yeah. But uh, still, you're still working, huh? Oh, yeah. Me too, As a man. In fact, I'm trying to get things done today because I've been working six and seven days. Yeah, that's great. It's, it's man. starting to. Give me a little breather because I mean, you know, a lot of the screens that blew out, yeah, um, are pretty much you know basically caught up, but right, it was right, a freaking rat race for, for, the, for the last year, year and a half after that storm, yeah. yeah I've got a couple sections I need to replace, oh, man. yeah, but, 
Yeah. All right, brother. You have a great one, man. Let's go look at some tools, guys, and we'll get the fuck out of here. So, guys, I'm over here in the paint department. Um, you know, I take these comments personally. And the comments about my white dap really bothered me. So I went up and I asked the guy at the counter. I said, uh, do you guys sell a, a, a dap tinting kit? And he looked at me like I was fucking crazy. Especially when I said, Tony Plumbob said I need to change the color of my dap for every fucking house. And uh, he said, dude, you need help, man. <sighs> so this is the shit. It's $6 a tube that you simply cannot get out of the tube. At least the stuff I've been buying. It just This seems a little easier. Maybe they got the fucking memo. I don't know. It seems softer. But I went to this shit. But it's bulky. And uh, it's not wasn't easy uh, carrying that shit around in my tool bag so uh, yeah the whole thing about the dap that was a joke I don't give a fuck what Tony Plumbob says believe it or not Tony Plumbob yeah a touch up marker maybe I could you know color it in after I'm done and it dries, I could make a trip back. I think that's what I'll do. Fucking Goomba. You fucking goofy bastard. Hey, bud. You sell rags, like, in a box. You know what I'm talking about? Those... Oh, I'm sorry, man. Harbor Freight's got really good package of uh, the Hey, red hey, hey, you jacks. can't be selling, you know, you gotta wait till the guy leaves, man. <laughs> they got mechanics rags in a big stash for like 10 bucks. You know, that'll get you killed on the block, man. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a joke. I'm, I, I'm a struggling comedian. Uh, where are they, man? What are you looking for? Just like a box of rag, not rag rags, but a roll, you know, some heavy duty. Roller rags? I know we got a bunch of rags over here. Let's see what you got. What you Thanks, want? brother. Uh, you know, sometimes I have to take a poop in the back of my truck. There you go. There's a bunch, a bunch of rags. <laughs> I knew that lady would look at me when I said that. She's like, it's everything I say is weird. I'm a struggling comedian. I never miss an opportunity to startle people. Thanks, brother. Yeah, I already got some of them. Yeah, these are rags in the aisle 10. They probably have some more car oriented rags. Yeah. Thanks, brother. <laughs> that lady was like, what the fuck? You guys find it okay? This would work better, I think. Oh, microfiber towels. This is what I'm talking about. These guys up here. Got shop towels. 200 count. That's what I think I'm gonna get, man. Nah, it's too bulky. Just use my rags, man. <laughs> I love fucking with people, man. That lady almost shit her pants when I said I shit my pants in my truck. All right, let me get my shit, and then we're going to go to the tool aisle.
American Standard Champion Toilet. It flushes a bucket of golf balls. Hmm. How about will it flush two Chicago hot dogs, a large fry, and a Philly cheesesteak? Hmm. No, it will not. I guess golf balls are, you know, the closest thing you can get to a fucking hot shit. Guys, I've had good luck with the Cola toilets. This Highline Arc, this is the one that I buy. This is a 10 inch rough. Wow, I'm surprised they have that. How much is that? Look at the price went up. No, it's the same price, man, for a 10 inch rough in. Wow. That's amazing. I need to make sure that I'm not buying the wrong one. I need to make sure I'm getting a 12 inch rough because they it's very, very easy to confuse these two. Uh, wow, that's great because it used to be a lot of money to get a, a 10 or a 14 inch rough toilet, man. A lot extra. So they sell an Elm Brook. Elm Brook is this one where the water comes around the rim. Uh, they sell the same toilet at, at uh, Lowe's, but it's it's a different name. But this is the one that you need to make sure your sack is not out there in the fucking middle of the white water. You know what I'm saying? Or you could be disemboweled. Uh, yeah, disemboweled. A gleam. They're stealing the uh, the old fucking uh, Toto idea, which sucks. I don't need anything like that, man. For my money, it's the Highline Arc. It's nice to know now that they have a 10-inch rough. Uh, Chair height, it's a, it's a Highline Arc is a, is chair height. Taller, you know, it's ADA approved. They don't tell you exactly how high it is to the top of the seat. Uh, but this is the one I put in, guys. I buy a lot of them, and I've never had anybody call me back. It's got a three bolt flange it, uh, where the tank to bowl uh, gasket is. It goes together very well. It doesn't have that bracket that bends. It's not strong enough. And I've, I've had calls where I've had to go because, you know, somebody bumped in and knocked the whole fucking tank off the toilet, man. Uh, so that, for my money, 229 minus 10%. Uh, $22.90, $23 off the price. It's not bad, man. It's a good toilet. I can get them. I see them down here. American Standards. Got basically the same stuff. Pretty cheap, though. And I, I used to install a lot of American Standard. I mean, that's not a bad-looking toilet. A cadet, you know, for $159. Uh... It's a chair height too. Seat height 17 inches. 12 inch rough end. Elongated. Oh, that's a round bowl. Elongated is 169 minus uh, $17. It was $199. Uh, it comes in a box. Uh, it's a Reliant. I'd like to see what the flapper looks like in there. Uh, what type of system they have for flushing, but. You know, this is probably a pretty good toilet, man, would be my guess. And that's a good price, man. Maybe worth it for me to uh, make a shift, but I, I usually don't do that. I stick with one thing for as long as I can. Till they make me fucking move on down the line. I'd never buy a Delta toilet, but... uh They've got a hell of a selection here. I've hooked up a lot of these tubs. That's a dirt cheap price for something like this. It's a beautiful tub. 
uh, great overflow. I don't know how much the valve is. That can't include the valve. But look at how it sits. It sits above the floor, which is nice. These things are an unmitigated disaster to get them so that they're sturdy enough. I've had to go out a lot of times and try to get these things, uh, you know, a year or two down the line. They're, they're loose and uh, these prices right here are, are very high for a tub waist. $70. Give me a fucking break, man. Give me a fucking break, y'all. So they've got a lot of Delta. I'll tell you what I've gone to, guys, is uh, these shower bases are much nicer. You can buy them that have... Uh, I don't like the walls, but I do like installing the shower base. It just It's a clean job. You can get in there, do your work. Uh, and uh, they have right or left side drains. So if you're, you know, if you're removing a tub and turning it into a shower, it's a really quick uh, installation, man. And they have a, let's see, they must have a 60. 60 by 30 by 3.5 inch left, right, or center drain shower base that would be the exact size of a of a cast iron tub or any standard tub uh, they don't have it in stock here which is crazy why they wouldn't have that because that would be I would think the most common size uh, and they don't have the price I don't think They don't have it they don't have the price for that but I've put a lot of these in they do sell them also that are uh, they don't have any finish on them whatsoever you can tile right to it and those are nice too they're, they're a little more expensive it's a separate brand it's not going to be one of these name brands uh, but I like them I don't like the walls uh, to be honest it's just cheap when you see a wall like that you know it's cheap but the bases are great i think for my money i'd put one in my house is what i'm getting at y'all so this toilet right here is 2.99 sorry highline arc we got standard height is 14 and a half to the top of the seat not the lid 16 is chair height it is ada accessible and then you got this one you know if you're one of them people who like to swing your legs while you're pooping yeah that one's 19 inches off the fucking floor yeah my feet wouldn't even touch the ground at 19 that's up in the fucking nosebleed section guys look at how tall this thing is that's for a giant Yeah, and I like these, man. I like this tower, man. I've, I've come to like it, you know? It's pretty easy. All right, I'm probably losing some of you people at this point, but, you know, does Johnny care? No, I'm gonna keep on talking. 279, now it's 199 minus a 10% 10, 10 discount, which they'll give it to me. Uh, that's a good deal for that toilet, you know. American Standard. I just I stay away from any any faucets that aren't mowing. Try to eliminate headaches for myself and the amount of shit I have to carry on my truck, y'all. Never come to Home Depot without stopping at the clearance aisle. And uh, for me lately. This shit's just so overpriced. Ba, 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 ba. I need some Sammies, man. Some Sammies. Yeah, somebody.
a nice little set. Snap ring pliers, I've got some. It's a nice pick set. This pick right here would be perfect for digging out uh, the uh, urine crystals in a toilet. Clearing that jet, that's the perfect shape, man. Really. I'd hate to have to buy the whole fucking set just for one, though, you know? I mean, I don't need the rest of that shit. Hey, bud, do you know anything about fasteners? Like, do you sell Sammy's? You know, the um, anchors? I do not know. Okay. Know All right, brother. Yeah, $34 for a goddamn cup. Fucking kidding me, man. Magneto. This is the chisel that I need that I already have uh, for doing those uh, hose bibs. Something nice and small with my little fucking handy handy hammer. Yeah, I think I'll get this. Fucking lobotomy tool. Tony fucking. Tony fuck bubble. Whatever the fuck his name is. Swing is the Mac Daddy of hammers. Oh, it's okay there. I'm good. I'm just wandering around aimlessly. So this is a nice level empire. It's got the increments here. Uh, you know, for you guys who don't know what's going on you could probably use that um, what I like to do and what I told my guys when I teach them I'd say look at look at put this at an eighth of an inch right an eighth of an inch of fall and then look at where the other bubble is so that you know touching the line is basically an eighth of an inch when you got the bubble in a regular vial going to uh, to just touching the line, you're at an eighth of an inch of fall per foot. So that's that. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, see, these are great for breaking into cars. Yeah. Mm hmm. I wouldn't know anything about that. I heard somebody told me. <sighs> so, so many choices in America. It is just fucking horrible here. I mean, how the fuck can we survive? 
you know, with all these fucking choices. I mean, what the fuck, man? This is nice. It's a very slim jaw. Uh, Crescent makes it, which I like Crescent. Channel locks. Yeah, yeah. Check in the fucking break room. I saw a few of them staring at the ceiling. Yeah, that's where they are. Hey, bud, do you guys sell uh, Sammy's anchors? Yeah, we should be in hardware. I'm trying to call somebody to get hardware to get into this department. All right. I need a couple Sammy's, Mammy, but I can't do it. I'm not buying a whole box. I only need a couple, man. I need a bolt for my tool, and uh, we'll go from there. This is a two and a half inch. I did find, the guy told me they don't sell two and a half inch two hole straps, but I was able to find one. Two and a half inch heavy duty uh, two hole strap. So what I need is a bolt. One that's gonna be easy for me to uh, use. Rather buy it long than short. These are stove bolts. get the biggest bolt I can about two inches long and that will be plenty for this half inch oh that's big Man. Yeah, I need a couple Sammies, man. Did you guys hear they have time limits now in front of stuff in Home Depot? Your time is up. We just got here. You need here. to move. We just no, I'm got kidding. I know. It's a joke. <laughs> we just got here, but they're not, we're not finding what we need anyway. They don't care. Sure. I'll have to do one and a half. Let's just look at the one quarter by one and a half. I think it's we've got, we've got That's too big. Oh. Look, here's the difference. It's not that much. Yeah, that'll work. And then we need to get the wash. All right, we need, we need eight of these. Son of a gun, son of a gun. I can make that hole bigger. I'll just drill it out, guys. That's what I need. With a nut washer. Yep. Scooby dooby dee. Fender washers, man, they're really good to have. I got what I need. Thank you, guys. Are you sure? You're never, you're I, never, I am, I, and I almost you forgot need. my you're, strap. You got what you think you need, but That's you right. what you need. These are our washers. Absolutely. Right so you guys have a great day. <sighs> I don't know where the Sammy's are, man. Sammy. So this is going to be my tool, guys. My strap, my fern coat, and my piece of pipe, y'all. I'll show you that. That's a good thing. You guys can all make your own. Very cheap. Alright, so I need Sammy and an eye bolt.